All right, so this is how a calorie deficit works. So your body uses energy in order to survive, for you to see, for your body to heal itself, for you to grow, for you to live, your body requires energy. So that's what a calorie is. A calorie is the same thing as energy. Now, we get our energy as human beings. We get our energy from the food that we eat. So the food that we eat contains energy, also known as calories. Whenever we eat food, we get energy for us to move about. Now, if we eat more energy than our body burns in order for us to live, then our body will take the excess or the extra energy that we have eaten and it will store it as body fat for us to be able to use it at a later time. Just in case there's ever a time when we can't get to food, if there's a famine, we have that extra energy, the fat stored, so that if we can't eat food, we don't starve to death. Our body can tap into the fat and use that to fuel us. Now, the way that we lose body fat is we have to burn more energy than we eat. So some of the ways we can burn more energy is we can start running, we can work out more, we can be way more active. So just try to move the body as much as possible throughout the day. This causes our body to use or burn more energy. And if we eat less energy, so we eat less foods, or we eat foods that contain less calories or less energy, now we're burning more calories than we're eating. Our body is now in starvation mode. Our body needs to get the energy from somewhere or else we'll die. So your body will then start eating away at the fat that we have stored and it will use the body fat in order for you to live and for your body to continue to function. So that's what a calorie deficit is. A calorie deficit is when your body is burning more calories than you're eating. So let's say for example, let's say I ate no food for an entire month and I started to run five miles a day, my body, since it's not getting any energy from outside, it now has to start to eat away at the body fat that I have stored. Now it's a little bit more complex than that. Like you don't want your body to eat away at the muscle that it has stored. So that's why you do strength training to tell your body, keep this muscle mass that we have because we need it. And you eat protein so that your body has protein and it doesn't have to eat away at your muscle mass. Now, the way that we find out how many calories our body burns is we can go on Google and we can type in calorie calculator and we go to the calorie calculator and we type in our stats. So we type in our age, our weight, our sex, how active we are, and it will tell us approximately how many calories we burn a day. Now, in order for us to track how many calories we're eating in order to make sure that we're not eating more than our body burns we need to download an app such as my fitness pal and every time we eat food input everything that we eat into that app and that app will tell us how many calories is in everything that we eat and it will count all the calories that we eat per day so we can see whether or not we ate more calories than we burn or if we ate less calories than we burn